In this edition of Explained, I describe a paper published in the peer-reviewed journal Ecology Letters in 2013, June 26, 2013. The paper was written by Quintero and Weens and is titled Rates of Projected Climate Change Dramatically Exceed Past Rates of Climatic Niche Evolution Amongst Vertebrate Species. This paper takes an evolutionary approach. How quickly can species evolve through natural selection or otherwise adapt to account for changes in the environment? I'm going to quote from the abstract. A key question in predicting responses to anthropogenic climate change is, how quickly can species adapt to different climatic conditions? Here we take a phylogenetic approach to this question. And they describe how they used many different species and distributions of more than 500 extant species, several phylogenies. Quote, we estimate rates of change based on differences in climatic variables between sister species and estimated times of their splitting. We compare these rates to predicted rates of climate change from 2000 to 2100. And I should point out here that they are using the IPCC's approach climate will look like in 2100. So this is taking an extremely conservative approach. Back to the abstract. Our results are striking. Matching projected changes for 2100 would require rates of niche evolution that are more than 10,000 times faster than rates typically observed among species for most variables in clades. Despite many caveats, our results su suggest that adaptation to projected rates of change in the next 100 years would require rates that are largely unprecedented based on observed rates among vertebrate species. In other words, vertebrates can't keep up with the projected rates of change based on very slow rates of change into the future. Based on the United Nations IPCC or Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, based on those incredibly slow rates of change, still vertebrates can't keep up. And they took a very large scale approach to determining the species that would not be able to keep up. 